सो वी स्टार्ट दिस न्यू चैप्टर कॉल्ड इन्वायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री ओके द इन्वायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री वेयर वेयर वील डील विद हाउ द केमिकल्स ओरिजिनेट ट्रैवल एंड अल्टीमेटली अफेक्ट एंड देन देन मे बी गेट डिपॉजिटेड और गेट गेट थ्रोन अवे और और रिमेन इन द इन्वायरमेंट फाइन सो इन्वायरमेंटल chemistry <clears throat> yeah so so before we understand that and this definition we have been studying since since long maybe in geography when we read it we we did it in uh, a very narrow sense but otherwise an environment is what it is the it is the aggregate of of it's not it's not only the in 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 sense of temperature or humidity that we say environment we say that the environment of that neighborhood is not good or it, or it's excellent so we mean everything no so the aggregate of the of the political of the social of the economic okay physical chemical no okay the physical the chemical aspect of a place is called called environment okay in geography we are normally bothered about maybe the physical aspect of the environment what the temperature is what is the flora what is the fauna but and that's how we have been dealing with environment so so we feel that the temperature and the humidity and the rainfall and the and the <coughs> and the minerals they they are somehow the environment but but it goes beyond that and it it covers covers everything okay <clears throat> now this environment which is conducive for us normally we find that the the place conducive for us is for us is called the biosphere biosphere and and what is it it is actually actually the the intersection of the the places where the three things yeah the three things meet so so the lithosphere it is it is an intersection of intersection of lithosphere atmosphere and and hydrosphere and hydrosphere that supports that supports the living forms okay now lithos means rocks right rock so so land it it stands for the land and atmos is the air and hydro is is water what do they mean by conducive conducive is that that which is uh, good for or that which supports okay that that suits okay better is one that suits <clears throat> okay now this very this very environment has if 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 this is if, if the aspects of the biosphere is good it is good for us it it supports the life form but if somehow it gets polluted then it creates a difficulty for us the living organisms and since sort of we are more thinking ones it gives us more responsibility for us to protect it so that is what the pollution is so 
pollution so the pollution is 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 any undesirable thing any undesirable any undesirable thing which endangers the life of plants and animals okay or any undesirable change right if it is a thing it becomes the pollutant right mm. okay so, and and the things which call pollution uh, cause pollution are pollutants so things causing pollution are called pollutants okay they are called pollutants now these pollutants <coughs> they'll be they can be they can be gaseous yeah so their aspects is either they are gaseous or they are solid or or or, sorry. or they are liquid or they are solid okay now the gaseous pollutants are more dangerous for us because first of all its outreach is more and secondly we consume at least 10 times the amount of air than the amount of food okay our our respiration process so so they are more dangerous as its reach is widespread first of all and second and and the second thing is and consume more we we consume air in more amount and we consume air in 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 higher amounts correct as compared to liquid as compared to liquid and solid though the liquid is also very widespread solid is maybe it gets localized until and unless again it seeps down to the water level table till then it's kind of localized and 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 we can get rid of it or maybe we can take precautions fine so that is one now the pollutants that is that is one of the classification of the pollutants the pollutants can also be be either called biodegradable biodegradable or non biodegradable non biodegradable now what does this mean biodegradable is when the nature is able to right yeah so when the nature is able to break down the pollutants the pollutant it's called it's called biodegradable and here when when the nature is nature is not able to break down the break down the pollutant example oh, sorry any example here here we have 
yeah so plastics correct what else plastics certain heavy metals yes heavy metals like like cadmium mercury hmm what else the certain chemicals like ddt okay sure here you have maybe cloth maybe yeah the the clothes natural hmm say cotton clothes okay what else what else food and, food and vegetable waste is definitely one of them food and vegetable waste okay so that's another classification okay okay also the pollutants they could be they could be man made which normally are majority of the pollutants are man made and there could be some which are which which are due to natural causes so so that's another classification maybe so pollutants may may be man made or or could be due to natural causes right natural causes fine 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 now our environmental chemistry actually does this it it is actually bothered about what the the environmental chemistry that is actually bothered about once we understand these environmental chemistry is bothered about is bothered about the the first of all origin from where things originate okay then the how how they travel right so transport okay how the pollutants travel yeah origin transport then reactions and ultimately and ultimately the fate of the fate of the fate of chemical chemical species in the environment okay by fate we mean where it lands where it gets disposed of what happens to it in the end whether whether it is degradable non degradable if if it remains what effects does it cause after after it it stays there in the environment maybe some of the effects are good some effects are bad but they are mostly bad because but the more can't be good because there are desirable changes no but but we are just talking about chemical species here right chemical species we did not say essentially pollutants right so there could be certain things which which are maybe 
may be good, but but then we should know. Fine. That is the aim of the environmental chemistry.